Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my university shopping list. Now, this is the stuff that I plan on buying ready to start university or hopefully start uni next September. So I thought I'd share this with you. It has been requested. So I'm just coming at you with my list. Some things that should be on the list aren't and I will say why, like, I'll say why, like the few things that I don't need to take at the end, like the pos the reason why, like that could be uni related, it just could be me, like just there's a few things that I don't need to buy. Simple and so let's just get into this video. I'm going to start out with kitchen because it's the longest list. Frying pan. There's but like you know one of those like ceramic ones or at least like not like ceramic but one with like sort of like higher edges so that I can do like sweet and sour in it or something just because it's easier and also so that if ever I want pancakes I can make pancakes and also if I do like chilli I can do it in there same with spaghetti bolognese I can do it in a big saucepan but I put frying pan on the list, obviously some of this might be taken off by like parents but I put frying pan on the list. Then I put a small and large saucepan, small because if I just want to cook like pasta, so if I'm doing like a pasta salad or if I am doing like bolognese then I can just do my pasta in a small one or if I'm having sweet and sour it's easy to just to use a small one. A small pan for like a boil in the bag of rice which that's the whole reason why i need two and two different sizes and also because the large one if ever i decide to have like veg and potatoes like potatoes i can just put them all in one pan and the pan's big enough so that's why i need both i put two baking trays i might only need one but i might also need two but yeah baking trays if i'm doing like chicken nuggets and chips Stick the chicken nuggets and chips on the tray, pop it in the oven and wait like 18 minutes and you're good to go. So yeah, cutlery, so like forks, knives, spoons, teaspoons, that's it really. Maybe butter knives but I just use normal knives anyway so I don't really need butter knives but you kind of need cutlery to eat. Because I'm not going to eat like a dog. No. Then I put like utensils. So like a, maybe like a spatula. Like spoons. To like stir the bolognese. Or the chilli. Or the spoon sour. Yeah. I don't really use that much. I At the moment I use literally. The, it's not a spatula. But it's. I think it's like a. It's like, it's in the shape of a spatula, like a square spatula, but it's got like slits in. Is it a, um, is it for like taking chips off of a thing? I don't know, but I think it, especially you can use for pancakes, but that shape thing, I can't remember what it's called. Oven gloves, so that I don't burn my hands when I take a tray out the oven. Kind of simple. Then I put glasses, so like, have I put wine glasses later down? Possibly. I can't remember. But like, highball glasses, or maybe even water glasses, I don't know. Depends what we can get. It's probably going to be highball. I might just get ones from Tesco. Like, I only need two. Like, and also I will get like wine glasses. I have got some wine. I have got wine glasses, but I think. I just get like the cheap like clear ones so that I don't break the ones that are a little bit more of a novelty if that makes sense so probably so like just glasses really I'll probably just take my gin glass it was free with the bottle of pink gin I got so and I only drank gin once but you can also have it in a highball glass if you're just being like simple doesn't really matter 
Then I put like wash scrubbers, so you know, whenever you're washing up, you have those like scrubbers. Those, they are really cheap and they might only, they might be bought on the day, but that's what I'm going to need it for washing up my stuff. And it's kind of just a necessity really. Um, dishcloth slash tea towels to dry up. Simple. <laughs> Plates to eat off of. Bowls, so like a normal bowl and probably I might get like a pasta bowl, like two pasta bowls or one. But pasta bowls are like so good for like pasta stuff but then also like eating sweet and sour chicken out of like like the flat plates I specifically think of more for like whenever you have like a roast dinner or like nuggets that type of dinner but yeah then I put mug I have got one mug I'll probably take that with me and I won't get one of those like just plain white ones I'll actually get like a patterned one I don't know what might have my initial on might not I don't know but I only really need two mugs in fact I probably only need one but it's best to take two or like have two but yeah oh I did put wine glasses they were there so obviously I've already mentioned those sharp knives for cutting stuff whether that be what do I cut? Oh, cheese. I love how my first thought was cheese. Cucumbers, tomato. Also, if you cut, if I was to buy like breasts of meat and to use cut it up and use that instead of diced chicken, then I'd need that. Then I'd need it for that. But you kind of just need like chopping knives. Tin opener. For all the like cheap, chin, cheap tins of stuff, so like tomatoes, beans, you need a tin opener. I'm not gonna get one of those cheap ones. I think it's like the white one. I don't know what the brand is. My we have it here. I think my nana has got a cheap one though, but then she also has a normal one, the same one. So I'll probably just get the same one that they've got here so that then I know it's good quality and I know it's going to work for me and I know it's going to last because I need the beans for if I have beans on toast but also I need beans in chilli and I do have baked beans in chilli con carne rather than kidney beans I'm not a fan of kidney beans and it tastes all right with baked beans so I don't see the problem but you need beans and also chopped tomatoes for like spaghetti bolognese and chilli you need chopped tomatoes tins of chopped tomatoes <clears throat> then i put a measuring jug slash pyrex jug like you know when those glass ones measure out the amount of water needed especially needed for like whenever you buy like a pack the commons pack of chili you need like 200 ml it's the only thing i can think of why you need it but it's handy you need it i might only need it on the odd occasion but it's all i can think of then i put measuring cups whenever i have pasta i like to use that big like one cup measuring thing to measure out how much pasta I have so that I don't put too much in but so I'd like one of those and yeah pizza cutter for whenever I have pizza that's also another reason why the big plates are good like the flat plates are good because you can stick pizza on them but yeah pizza cutter then I put grater so like cheese for grating cheese I do like some meals that I'll be cooking will have like grated cheese on and I'm not going to buy actual grated cheese because I will just buy like a block of it each week um I have worked out how much it's going to cost me for food each month as well so I will print that one out 
Then I put colander slash pasta drainer. I might, so, might also get a sif. It's not on here, but I might get a sif. I need a pasta dr It depends on what pans I get, whether I need a pasta drain, like a colander or not. If it the pans has got like holes, then I can just drain the pasta. Like if the lid of the pan has got holes, I can just drain the pasta that way. But if it's not, then I mean, I'm going to need a pasta drainer. But you could probably also use a sif as well, but probably not best to mix starch with like not wives to sift flour through something that said starch on i don't know then i put tupperware tubs i plan on doing meal prepping so like if i cook a chili because it makes four eat one freeze four not four three so that's why i need tupperware tubs and if i'm having one chili one bolognese a week that's at least six tupperware tubs i'm needing each week yeah <clears throat> Then I put cutlery organiser, so like, I put forks in one, knives in another, spoons in another, teaspoons in another, that makes sense. The next thing I have on my list is like a mixing bowl, this could just be like a plastic one or you know one of those like small glass ones, however that small glass one will be handy because tip half a tin of beans in, stick the bowl in the microwave for two minutes, your beans are done. And it saves you having to stir them. Obviously, like after a minute, you stir it a little bit just so that it not all the hot ones are at the top, but so much easier. And also, if I have pancakes, then I can just mix it in the bowl. Yeah. Or if I ever have tuna, it's handy to mix tuna with it. Makes sense. Then I put cooling rack slash pads. I've seen a lot of people buy the pads, but you can just buy the metal racks. Uh, obviously, those like cork pads will probably will be easier to store, like they'll save space, and you can stick them like flat against like the side of a cupboard, so you can save space that way. And you can obviously just stick. You can also stick it in a pan, like you can stick it in the saucepan, like the big saucepan. Like you can put the two pads in the big saucepan, stick the small saucepan inside. Then that way, you've not got any mess and that is handy then I put chopping board for for whenever I'm chopping something so I don't make any scuff marks on like the work surface it's kind of pretty self-explanatory scissors for like whenever you've got a block of cheese like if it's one that doesn't have like a zipper like the ziplock thing you cut open the block of cheese there's just a few things to gonna cut open and also yeah you like we'll say with some packs of ham you actually need to sort of pierce the edge so you can actually open the ham there's just a few things you need scissors for like i don't know why i'm explaining why i need scissors never thought i'd get to this point in my life where i'm explaining why i need scissors then the last thing for kitchen is an oven proof dish so like like a casserole dish but like a square one well so like if i do like a pasta bake it will make four anyway so it's to do with my meal prep but maybe even like a small one like i could half the mixture for a pasta bake but then i don't think i could as well but like a big one so that i can make a pasta bake but then also so that i can if i was to reheat it in the oven i can stick it in that dish and reheat it or I can just pull it in the microwave and reheat it that way. Obviously, I know I need to do frost it first, but you get the point I'm making. Obviously, before I actually go onto bedroom, I will say that with kitchen, it will also obviously depend on whether we get a kettle or a toaster or not. Because if we don't, then it will sort of be arranged between whoever's in my flat like who's buying what but if that's like the stuff that i'll definitely need then those little things are like a maybe makes sense so for the bedroom i put single duvet because most like um 
like uni accommodation is like single bed some are th some are three quarter beds but most are single beds i need two duvet sets so that when one gets dirty and i'm washing one i can just stick another one on and yeah pillows because i want new pillows by that point then like a fitted sheet or two and I don't need any like you know like sort of like the plain pillowcases because I can just take the ones that are on my bed so like you might be able to see like in that corner there like that sort of light grey ish colour like I can always take those with me so I am gonna try and take as much from home as possible to a save on cost and b it means that when i do come home and i bring all the stuff home it means that there's not going to be loads of clutter like around the house if there's some things that i can just sort of put back in here so another thing i don't need is a lamp because however if they provide one then i won't need to take that lamp but if they don't provide one then i will literally just take that lamp so much easier to do than buying a new one and i do like that so why not just take my lamp why buy a new one another thing i don't need is a throw i already own one that was an assignment brief that you could hear in the background sliding off of it so i don't need a throw i've got one granted yes it's a double but i can always just double it up like fold it in half for a single bed and also it'll be handy during the winter for if it's cold and if i'm just lounging about on my bed or just in my room i can like if i'm sat at the desk in my room i can just pull it over me and i can keep myself warm <laughs> and i also don't need cushions because i do own them granted i haven't got them to hand like these ones like i can just take them and they're good I've got two so I don't need the cushions because I've already got some and I'm not like a big person of like cushions on the bed like you'll sit notice in videos that I don't actually have them on my bed that's because they literally are stored down there literally that is a cushion you can see that so they don't actually go on my bed often they are just for a bit of comfort I don't really need them I did have one on my bed the other day but I never actually sleep with them I don't think anyone sleeps with them though but that's the stuff that I've written down I am planning on going for a standard bed if I was to be going if I ended up with an ensuite then obviously I would be buying like a bath mat not like bath mat but you know like for when you step out of the bath well in university case it's a shower but for whenever you step out of the shower you step onto that I'd it would be like toothbrush holder I might end up getting like a toothbrush holder and like buying one of those you know like wire racks and sticking toothbrush holder in like a soap dispenser because I try and cut down on the amount of like single use like plastic cartons of soap like pumps of soap I use like I would try and cut down on that and I'd probably just have a few things in there like that's my sort of plan obviously I don't know how it'll go and also obviously I didn't mention bins if there is already a bin in my room like if then I'll just take one of my bins but if there's no bins then I'll take two and the reason why I'll have both is one one of my bins is recycling one is for non-recyclables so like makeup pads like cotton pads that i use if i've used like a baby wipe obviously they can't be recycled i do try and limit the amount i use but and i don't wear makeup often and also this will literally just fade so yeah but that's what i've got on my list so far if i've missed anything let me know in the comment section there might be some stuff that I think actually no I don't really need like I don't have photos in my room I had like one photo but I've taken it down 
like it was on my bedside table I've taken it down because I felt like it just made my bedside table look a little bit cluttered like okay yes I might buy like the odd fake plant to like dress up my room to make it different than just basic but I'm really trying to cut down on what I use and like what I have and even though I'm not willing to part with some of the stuff that I don't use it's I know I have in recent times cut down a lot on what I do have like I'm not going minimalist but I'm trying to simplify my life but I do like I could never be minimalist I need to have a little bit of too much but I'd I want to cut down on what I do have like some things I do have like in my wardrobe I know I don't need and I would look to get rid of them but yeah and like for example my bomber jacket that I have I'm still use it still love it I'm getting a new one at Christmas so I am gonna be getting rid of that because there's a hole in the pocket that goes through to the actual like you know the gap between like the lining and the actual fabric of the jacket so <clears throat> and so I don't actually need to keep it and it will go in the bin because there's some wires on the arms and all of that so I am replacing it like I'm not gaining extra I'm just replacing but I still use that bomber jacket that I've got and I will still continue to use it until after Christmas then when Christmas comes I will get rid of it because it is broken and like there is holes so like when I had to get rid of some of my jeans because I held holes in I was hoping, like fully, fully hoping that there was some place near me that accepted jeans with like holes in, but there wasn't, unfortunately. And also I have stuck some th things that, some items of clothing that I no longer want onto Debop to try and hopefully get rid of some stuff that way. But there's still a lot of clothes that I do wear so yeah and also my style is pretty basic like I've literally got a pair of jeans on that I've rolled up a little bit at the angle and a yellow top but I wear like my items like so many times I get my wear out of them like so so much like I've got the odd t-shirt that has the very tiniest hole right at the bottom I still wear it it's not until the hole gets really big and noticeable that I get rid of it. So, I wanted to make sure you all knew that. But, so I'll try and link my Depop below. I am selling my prom dress. That's the main thing I want to go. Like, the main thing I want to sell. The rest is like, eh, it can go if it... But... I mainly want to sell my prom dress that's the main thing I'm asking 60 for it it would have been 90 my mum got it it would have been 100 my mum got it for 90 because I went to this the school in the town but it retailed for 100 I'm asking 60 I wore it once obviously and it was a nice dress so And it's like a purple chiffon. It would fit someone who's like a size 12. Because I was about like a size 12. It might fit like a size 10. But. I'm trying to cut down like a lot. But. I'm doing it in smaller increments. Like I might do like a declutter like next year. Like early next year. Get rid of more stuff. And. 
I'm trying to use up my Argos catalogues in the form of creating ASMR with them. And I do do ASMR customs. Five pounds for 20 minutes, 10 pounds for 30, like 15 for 40, 20 for 50, 25 for an hour. Wanted to let you know. I'll leave my my emails always in the description box. Anyway, so if you were if you were a fan of ASMR and you wanted a custom, then you can ask for a custom from me. But that's pretty much it. And obviously, yes, I know I did that PLC haul the other like last week, but. That was for an occasion, that was the first time I've ordered clothes in a while. Well, no. I ordered one item of clothing for the purpose of like in a, doing a custom. I've not ended up having to use that top for a custom yet. But, because I think the person's changed their email. Because the email doesn't send to recipient but yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know of what i've missed in the comment section and also any videos you want to see from me i think i'm gonna keep you in the dark about my final five options for now i just think more for a privacy reason like i know obviously it's a small channel but for more of a privacy reason I'm just keeping things on the down low I did so I think I mentioned in a previous video like the ones I was looking at previously some of that's changed like my like I've further refined that list since then make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video if you liked it and also if you're going to be starting uni in 2021 and you can let me know of which uni you're hoping to go to i will let you know if it's on like my list or if i'm looking into it because i've got three like definite ones then my final two options i need to look at because i am planning on using all five options i've always known that for years since like year five i've always known i'm going to use all five options I just haven't fully decided on my last two. I think I know one of them, but with not being able to go to an actual open day because their website, like their virtual open day is like wacky, it's weird, it's, you can't understand it. So I definitely need to find a proper, final decide my option, but I don't know about one of the unis. But let me know what you'll be studying, which you need, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!